only a single one left. Mayo with one of the best Look at this. He might be looking to play aggressively on this trophy door with a shotgun. But with the pressure coming in from that master breach behind him, he's got to be very careful with where he steps up. Pachito drops, and this one gets even more dire for this defense. Akibil, there's one. There's two. Maybe a third around the other side. He gets it. Nitro's down. Pano is now the last oh. player standing. Akibil in round number two. He does it all, putting the team on his are on the opening round. Can he get any more? Spoit gets Julio on the back end, and there's JV92 to pop his way back through. Gets a double. Leon should get the plan. It's the single cover of Kanto. Oh, he gets caught as well. And JV92, he can make it this time. JV92. This could catch Liquid off guard if they aren't fully aware. And if they weren't aware, they certainly are now. Casey marches in for two. Nesk beams one, as we've seen him do all day long. Transfers onto another. It's a one versus two as JV, the only one still left on his feet here. Gonna try and get his teammate up so they can try and hold this angle. But the backstab comes in. Liquid just a little bit too mobile for W7. Battle to deal with this advance. Diffuser in the hands of Leon Gids. Shuttle playing this small angle. He needs to pop up. Iconic softened up. Oh. Shuttle will need to clutch. He's flattened two of them. Oh. And he gets all of them. Go goes down. IWI puts it into a four versus two. And it's something that's fallen away from BDS on their approaches. Can defense be the difference? A swing for Skipper. Gets locked down. One more body okay. in the post plant. A two versus one. Breede in another clutch situation. It was a one versus one on the last map. This time he can send it over, but a post plant. 45 seconds and two guns pointed up, and they are pulling themselves back. One in the oh. side is caught. Another one versus one here for Breede. Caught on a drone. 30 seconds to work with. The players pulled himself slightly further away. He's waiting, wasting on time. It's IWI, who has been a huge driving force, holds on the key, waits for the swing. They can't make the contact. They pull Breede! back at Breede! Two for two on one versus ones. Two for two on maps. Gonna be and superior there, Lagonis. He's got to push up and play aggressively. Nesk now left in the clutches. How much info does he have? 30 seconds left. What a shot onto Wizard. The plant is going to be going oh, down. Nesk might yeah. just find them all here. Oh. And he does. Four kills on the round for Nesk. He's wow. well and truly back. Oh, and my they were God. able to find it back on map number one, giving them the credit they need to hopefully swing out the rest of this map and get us to a 1-1 scoreline, but do not count the M80 roster out just yet. Don't necessarily count Dios out of this specific situation. He's already found one of the cross into security. He'll look to see if he can deny more. His position is revealed, but the pre-fire off onto JV92. Scores him a second kill now. This is palatable when you consider that the planter is basically one-shottable. No idea where Julie's gonna come from the Nitro out. Does it sing? Yes, it grabs the planter. Okay, still down on the ground though, and he's missed the rotation from Julio. He's gone all the way upstairs. Dios. Doesn't seem to mind it too much, those sticks on the case, but here's the play from oh one side. Oh my god! Diaz! Oh my god! The 1v4 clutch! Ending absolutely everything as Nafe tucks himself in. Winside the kit, he's been able to just find his way onto site, and he's going to see if he can stick the plant with Solotov offering the cover onto the door. Nello gets one and two right on the breach itself. There's three for Nello, and Ace is left all alone on the top of the stairs. He's able to win out one. He goes for the oh. plunger! He got it! It's unbelievable! Once again, another round in a row. Where it is just... Got some work to be done if they want to go up by four. Nitrocell shot away as Maya defends this black mirror looking towards Snowmobile. Smoke will clear. Maya stops it in its tracks. But it's Maya in a 1v2. Gets time for the reload with the vector. That's huge. But it needs to square up his body. No. Only a single one left! Maya with one of the best clutches of the tournament! Caught on the end, but suddenly you're in a post plan. I'll have to get one in the meantime, but there it is. Suddenly it's back and forth, leaving just always and joystick. The two players had the rhythm last time around. Let's see if they can try and get this. The air jab hits it. They're quite far away, watching with a bit of safety on an angle. That's oh. you. Hell of a take there and joystick. I mean, he's going to be able to get one. He can get oh, two. two. There's somebody outside as well. He's going to pull the goo mine out. Please, G2. Don't let this one slip through your fingers. There's the bait. There's and the fight. Win. There's three. Joystick hops in. There's only a couple of seconds. Joystick. What's a play? Unbelievable. Oh. From the cyborg.
He's pushed through and found himself three. It's all down to Teb. He's at the bottom of Astro stairs. The plant's being confirmed. He finds one onto Shaiko, but it's not going to stop the plant from going down. There is an eternity of time. Well, at least there was 40 seconds now left. Renshi cooking the nade, going to send it on out there. It lands at Teb's feet. He's got the rook armor so he can withstand. I don't think BDS know that they got the down here. We rarely see that in competitive play, but it comes out here when it matters most. Teb, he's going to try and push his way up. It doesn't look like he's working off too much information here. He's got players on either side. A pre-fire onto Bruno. <laughs> can he find it onto Red Shiro? Yes, he can. Oh my goodness, Teb. Four kills on the round to keep your team in it. When do we see that rook on the playoff? <laughs> the Pro really did actually make the right play there. They all guarded against that push, but Doom just took it apart piece by piece. Wonderful stuff. And as much as I criticized Virtus Pro in the early half of this half, they are making adjustments, but it's not making enough of a difference. Shepard will take down the madman oh, that is June, and Shepard will find the planter. That's huge. Massive kill Why? in the one versus two. One versus four now down to this one versus two. Yeah, Shepard. I mean, it's basically clubhouse gym attacks one to one. Don't plant next to the hatch because that's the thing that's going to oh, no. happen. Blast with the no with the HE out. He does lose out on the game. No way. And there's Shepard finding the headshot with the P12 to close things off single-handedly defying all odds bp are not done with clubhouse just yet psycho spots the monty and now the intel's being relayed shield on extended essex karma will surround them from all sides muzi put to one hp even further now psycho the only one left it's probably gonna end up being the smartest move that he could have played this one out for the drone works its way through though that's going to be potentially problematic. However, there we go. The shield drop. Can Psycho hit the shots? Goes for the corner instead. Knows it's too risky. Trying to go for the arm shots. He'll land it. One more to go. But no. Oh! It's a trade, actually. An NIP end up on top. What a play. G2 are just waiting around the corner. Oh, you're so lucky to find that one, Virtue. All up to resets now in a 1v4. G2 have woken up here on Skyscraper. Doki gets a bit aggressive, but surely the round is done here for Liquid. Resets has found a double. And brought the round back into the realm of possibility. G2 forcing that plant down. Alamau is on such low HP. But all G2 have got to do is cover in the post plant. Surely not resets. He's making the 1v4 look so winnable. And he's going up against his Brazilian comrade. There's no way. Resets to Ace to 1v4. To Not aware of JJ though. He catches one in laundry, whiffs on the second, but still a one versus three. A tough situation for Rival. A lot of time to play with. 45 seconds, now a one versus two. But he's on very low HP. First, every single player that's alive in this post plant is on red HP, layering up. And Rival is just burning down that timer. Just about 30 seconds overall. Nice shot. That's a triple for Rival. This could be all four. You know, it's not in a good spot to cross over right now. And the timer is getting closer and closer to triple zero. Spots the no arm. No way! He walks into the pre-fire! Really round defining for the attack. Robo just slips back into cash, but they've lost Canos. Over towards top red. Jazz, this is a big, big fight. Can't be won, not just yet. Until now, Roadway finally falls. Misa pushes forward, needs no. to win this one as well. Does no. get the down, does get the deny. No. Misa with the shotgun. Oh, Misa! They all fall one by one with the shotgun in hand. Slices and dices on sight. Three, nothing. Gone and Doki and still has the clash. After getting one, is able to keep themselves going. Blur up around the back stairs to give the clash some support. The shotgun isn't quite able to get the lock. They're going in hard on to All the way. More for Doki. He oh, Doki! What? No! Come on! The three that doesn't quite pop off in the right place. Grixer with a triple. You've got to get yourself in and hold F here at this point. Felipox with a C4. If he gets this clean, there's one. He's looking for the second and he finds it. The C4, C4. over the top and there it is! W7M done on the back of Felipox. Good counter.
course, from Iconic on the swing, but he's already lost yeah, all of his other teammates. Here. Valentino is taking down the only other member of this team, Dios, on the other side of the map. Iconic will hunt for the trade. He'll get O kills at least, but three more players still to go. He's ready for that pickup. It's a triple already on the round from Iconic, so maybe he'll yet bring this one back. 50 seconds to play it out, though. He's that team crouching down there onto the drone hole, hoping to catch another member of the Falcons in the middle of a rotation. More than likely not going to end up working out. <gasps> However, he does work out kill number four. Valentino is found on a cross back over onto the arcade balcony. And at least fade out a little bit more presence there with a shot or two, but it won't work. Mad Skills has so much restraint right now. The plant finally coming in, and Iconic will get it. We'll be given a chance to readjust his post plant positioning as well. Mad Skills did not think it was a commitment. He'll be regretting that mistake for sure. And he just has to control it from this point forward, but Mad Skills surging forward, and either way, time is going to run out. The ace is denied. The 1vx is denied as well, but the round will be going into the hands of M80 due to a brilliant clutch from Iconic. You guys have this angle on to square, but with 40 seconds to reset, even drone out this remaining player. M80 have ample time, but NJR has cut down one. He's still inside a square. They know his position. They've got two people watching him in sight control to boot. Diaz, oh! Unfortunately, cut down. NJR with a beautiful flick. A 1v2 and Kino low. John, this might just be match point if NJR is lucky enough. This is his moment of opportunity now with Kino going for the plant. Doesn't have the confidence to make the play immediately, though. And even worse, does not have the winning angle, but he finds it anyway. The swipe right over on the Sploit knocks him down. And now Kino, you see his HP on the right. He's already low. Just no intel to play off of. Did he go to the inside? No, thankfully not, because the barricade's still there. Could have gone down the stairs, or he could be in the elevator. It's a few options, looks down, but he gets it anyway. Oh. Clutch from MJR to put DZ on map point. His position not known here, and this swing will be very successful. Lands the headshot onto Atpe. Told he's in sight though, getting that diffuser down. Nade. Oh, it's a Whoa. perfect nade from Skux. It denies Tolji. Down and now out for the count. And barcode's low on health and suddenly diffuser on the floor. 20 seconds left to have to make the drop down. And Skux is watching it. This is very winnable. The quad to win the round. Skux makes them bleed. Wonderful play. Iconic might know. No, he doesn't. Trying to give him some information. Leon gets in. That's Diffuser down, surrendered in the bomb site. But they will gang up on Iconic, who far enough away is good enough. No! Many! Past the point now where the Diffuser needs to be picked up from Crying. They'll go for the plant. All he needs to do is wait out time, and here comes the run for Iconic. Crying almost finished! What the hell was that from Iconic? One kill on to Gunner in this execute. Nafe taking some damage, but Eminem are cleaning house. Sonics have lost three players. Rexin will need to clutch. Diffuser in the hands he uses. If Rexin can stop it, he'll send his team to overtime. And suddenly Rexin kills them all. He just needs to get to Uzis. And he does it! Good god damn! What a play by Richie! He thought the match was over. True. It's gonna be able to drop bond and suddenly it all goes to BDS. I don't even understand. They decided to try and take the fight on the side. Iconic can't get his way back up the stairs. And from 20 seconds and nothing to 10 seconds and a technical, I was gonna say four versus one. It's a three now. They're down getting the plant down. They finish off one player. The pistol. Oh, no, 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 you wait. J90 also got the cap cap kill. It's J90 round. Does he know he's tucked in left side? No, he does not. Revan are about to steal this round of left side right. again. He gets a nine, he does with the SMG 11. Oh. Sayo Chang goes nuclear to save it for North Option. Oh my god. Allowed into Con. Oh my god.